Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be working on the 64 again and I want to grind down the bottom of this uh, quarter panel here and see how bad the bodywork is behind that. So let me get set up here and we'll grind that paint off and see what's going on underneath it. on this for a little bit we'll see how bad this is so I'll come back once I get it ground down okay here's where we're at we have a rust hole right here so we'll just have to cut this out here and right here and right there and then down here we have a mess this has been repaired once up there and then a second time down here in the corner I'm not gonna go all the way up to there because they already warped the crap out of it I don't really want to warp it anymore so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this piece. We're gonna go like this, straight across here and down first and see what it looks like behind there. So let's cut that real quick. I think the original quarter might be behind it. switch to a bigger grinder because that little one would take too long for these big uh, holes. People wonder why stuff keeps rusting. Can't leave the old rust in there. about where they did I don't know what they were doing but yeah this type of stuff you can't leave in there all it's gonna do is just hold moisture you got screws in there everything else inner wheel wells a little screwed up and have to fix that No weld through primer. You just put bare metal up there. This 
is the original quarter panel right here. All bondo. jack this up being lazy so we're gonna cut this right here didn't even weld it they just packed it full of mud Good news is, is underneath there, it's solid past the, once I get all that mud off, halfway decent, or it looks halfway decent. Switch to my other wheel here. Try to video this for a little bit so you can see how bad it is. bring you down here to see what they did so what they did was they thought it would be a good idea to just so this is the bracing this is a separate piece that gets welded on the bottom of a rocker for a convertible so what they did was they just took that other metal right to the edge here and didn't even weld it I would rather have seen them overlap this and weld it than anything but they just overlapped it and just filled it with mud this brace is pretty solid. I mean, there's not nothing really going on there. Here is a disaster. That's a complete disaster in there. We have to cut this quarter panel up higher. We're going to have to make a new inner piece. And then uh, the new outer piece, when I'm going to... This is how it's supposed to look. It goes underneath that brace. So I'm going to have to go underneath that brace, drill holes in this brace, and spot weld my new panel in like it's supposed to be. So this is definitely going to probably be more than one video on this area right here. I don't know. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to fix this mess. Let's cut this up a little bit higher.
old quarter that they left, they ground it down to bare metal. So that is just going to rust, which I'm surprised it's not rustier than it is. But who knows how old this is, this work that got done, how long ago it was done. Obviously, it was done with a MIG welder, so it can't be too, too old. I mean, 20, 30 years at the most. But it's probably way less than that. So we have this mess in here. This is a second brace here. It's welded to this inner piece here. I think I'm going to do is just cut that straight. Cut that straight first. I think I should cut this out here and then we'll make a new piece and bend it at an angle. Slide it back in there. I mean, there's going to be some rust I can't get to. I mean, it's inevitable. It's down, I'm sure it's the whole rocker all the way down. You know, I can only do so much unless it gets full new rockers and stuff like that, and that's not what it's getting. So, um, it's a little frustrating, but I mean, you just got to work with what you can, you know. Let's try cutting this straight across. so we can start cleaning this up back there. I'm going to have to probably get some rust converter to spray in there to try to slow this down. Back brace looks fine. So the one coming on the inside of the car looks good. This really, like I said, that's pretty solid. Not too concerned with that. We can make this back piece here come down and go under like it's supposed to. Leave it up a little bit so that the quarter panel can come down and go over like it's supposed to. Um, so let me grab another cutting wheel. We'll cut all this bullshit off here, clean it up, and see what it looks like. I wonder if I can just use this metal one. Where's my Allen key at? Because 
this does cut metal. I have to get up. Might not work that good, but we'll try it. Which direction does this thing spin? Spin that way. If you guys hear that howling, the other video I had talked about it being a husky, it's actually a rescue wolf. It's a real wolf. That couple neighbors down have it in a pen out back, and it just keeps howling nonstop. end restoration we'd be replacing all these parts we'd be taking them all completely out and redoing them 
but we're not doing that with this car so we're going to do the best we can with what we have <laughs> screwdriver so I can pop that off. This is lead right here. I need to grind that out of there because you cannot weld with lead on the metal right there. in the 
rocker. That's what it is. Got it to a point where I can go get some rust uh, inhibitor or whatever they call that, and we can spray it in there to turn that rust that's left to black. messes that you get into sometimes you know when it's just horribly patched and I mean when I make a new patch for the bottom of that quarter panel I'm actually going to drill a couple holes in it because I guarantee that they had bonded that whole bottom shut that was probably sitting full of water because there was nowhere for the water to drain out so when I make this bottom lip here for the quarter that comes down like this and goes that way I'll drill a couple holes in the bottom of it and then you'll have some water drainage so it's not going to sit in there so it was sitting in there and all this dirt and rust was in there so it's just you know stayed wet and it's just going to keep rotting away at that point so i'm gonna have to go get some rust inhibitor we'll spray in there and then we can start making patch panels um, we obviously have to start with the very inner one this right here i'm probably not going to cut that out i might just put a little patch over top i'm not sure yet on that one because that's getting a little bit to the tricky area. I don't want to get too much farther that way because this actually looks good here. So we're going to just mud that seam. I don't know if 64 showed the seam or not between the quarter and the rocker. I don't remember. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and weld up to it and mud it. So 
I'll be back in a little bit after I get some, you know what else I need to do? Let me grab this wheel skirt, because these have wheel skirts, and I need to put the wheel skirt on so that when I make the quarter panel, I can get this curve right. This was built out with probably three quarters to a half inch of just Bondo and stuff. So I don't even know if those wheel skirts even fit. I never even tried them. But let me see if I can find the one for that side. And the last painters went ahead and painted the rubber. So that was nice of them. Okay, let's try to put this on and get an idea here. some of these I think if we need them let me go loosen the nut up on this and uh, spin I, I you know I think I have one of these let me go see all right I got some newer ones they're, they're used but they are in really good shape I'm not gonna be able to use this ratchet in there Go get a wrench. The bolt's not even long enough. I think this one might be bent. All right, let me mess with this a little bit. Okay, I straightened it out on the vise. I might have to bend that in. this in a little bit. I'll probably do it after it's mounted to the car, I'm not sure. Let me see. I'm personally not a fan of skirts, but a lot of people like them. I think I gotta bend it some more still. Eh, maybe not. that clamp off the camera and I'll come back once I get it mounted okay I got it mounted on there yeah I just never really liked those it's just not my cup of tea I guess but uh, everybody you know a lot of people do like them so but we can at least use this front edge to kind of get a gauge us for where we need to go with the quarter panel because if they do want to use these at least they'll fit somewhat decent you know looks like it's got to get slid this way a little bit some rust converter come back we'll spray that I don't know if uh, I'll be able to do any welding in there today because I don't know how long that stuff needs to dry so let me go grab some and I'll come back okay I grabbed some uh, 
rust converter here. Um, it says to, uh, you know, like I did, clean the rust and stuff. Um, it does not want you to paint it on any surfaces that are non-rusty. So all this metal up here, I'm not going to shoot it on. Basically just going to get it in here and on the back side of that rocker. And then we can start making patch panels. Um, I don't think you need to top coat this either. You can top coat it, but it doesn't say that you have to. now that's coated and it says it stops it from rusting in the future it's made by uh, KBS so let's uh, let me grab a regular cutting wheel for my grinder and uh, we'll make this first piece that goes on the inside okay let's see let's make this inner piece here I'm gonna combine these two into one I think I'm not sure yet but I might because I'm using 16 gauge which is pretty thick so come down three inches and then we'll do a bend underneath. Three inches and then a 90. Not a, yeah, it's close to a 90. Now this doesn't have to go the whole distance. I'm just going to slide it between those two, weld this there, weld it to this one, just get a nice solid piece in there. And I'm wondering if I should just keep this whole thing as one piece. Bend it in there. I want to leave it up a little high so that I have room for the quarter panel one to go below it. So let's go bend this on the bender. We're not going to go a full 90. No, a little bit less than 90. I'm going to try to get this car done in the next two weeks because the weather is going to start to turn like crap. I need to get that 59 done too because I want to get on this pickup truck. And then uh, I think I'm getting that 59 Porsche body that I'm going to be painting, I believe. So now let's spend this. this way with it and mark it backwards. Yeah, you know we can bend it this way. It's thicker this the inside. Not a big deal. Just gotta grind that sticker off. This is 16 gauge, and this bender is not really made for 16 gauge. Might have to put a relief cut in it. And it is bending, just not really well. This bender does 18 gauge and up. take my grinder and make a relief cut down there and I'll be back. Took my grinder down there, see if it'll bend a little bit easier. bit less.
2K primer to spray on this. Not 2K primer, uh, weld through primer. All right, I'll let that sit for a minute. Get my welder hooked up. We'll get that in place. And uh, I might end up just welding it to this edge here. And then when I make this bend, just dive it into that. Because then I can get a, it'll be a lot stronger that way. Nope. I gotta spray some on the bottom side of this too. Actually, that should work. Stuff's drying real fast because it's like 80 degrees outside. So now I gotta slide this into place. Let me get it slid into place and let this dry for a minute and then I'll come back. Okay, I've got that where I want it. Get this welded in now. Not too worried about warpage because it's on the inside. Alright, I'm going to continue to weld that. Okay, I tacked it on real good and then I sprayed some 2K primer over top of it. Um, I don't know if this piece of uh, 18 gauge I have is going to be big enough for this. Might be. At least for most of it.
trying to figure out where I'm going to bend it at. I'm going to go make a bend on this. I'll be right back. I have it bent a little bit less than a 90. just like that. I'm going to get that cut real quick. Okay, I've got that cut down to a nice even lift there. Actually feels pretty good. I think I need to bring it in a little bit more though. rocker angle. Right about there. I know I'm in the way. I gotta cut this. Well, I gotta put some primer on this. I got ahead of myself. Let me put some uh, ball through primer on the back of this. Let it set for a couple minutes. Then I'll come back. Okay, those welds look a little crappy because I didn't grind them or anything. I just welded it. I'm not gonna worry about grinding them. I've got the back of this for, uh, primer. weld up here in the corner. See where this is warped in from when they welded it. Not really much I can do about it. And yes, I'm closing my eyes while well, doing that. I did have to overlap that right there a little bit because of the uh, metal was cut a little crooked. I'm going to go back with my grinder now and straighten it out.
Okay, I'm gonna go along here, get my blowgun, and tack this. Just back and forth, back and forth until I get a continuous weld there. I'm not gonna go super crazy grinding this weld down because this is all warped anyways. I'm gonna have to mud the whole thing. So let me uh, get this going for a little bit and then uh, I'll come back. Okay, I have that bottom piece welded on. It's only tacked underneath still. I need to put more welds underneath it still. Um, I cut another piece and put a little bend on it and primered the back of it, and that's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna weld this in next. And then I'm probably gonna have to pound this up a little bit. I gotta get a regular hammer out here. This is the wrong hammer, but I gotta probably pound up on that a little bit. So let's, uh, Put this piece tacked on. There's still some lead in it over here. I thought I got it all out. There's definitely still some more lead there. Go grab a hammer.
Okay, I'm gonna weld down there, clean up that uh, that uh, lead in there, get that welded, and I'll grind this. And I'll come back and show you guys what it's starting to look like. Okay, I got that all done there. So now we have that whole bottom built. I put the uh, skirt back on. Let's cut this metal to the skirt. Let's see if we can uh, try to get this curve right. I'm going to make it a little big first. I'm not worried if I cut into that gasket because it's going to have to get replaced anyways. Right. It's pretty good there. Not a bad guess. Um, I need to flare this out a little bit and then we could put a return on it. So I'm going to take the skirt back off. This is a little warped right there from welding it. So I just need to bend that out like that. Cut this lip back. This already has some primer on it still. I'm trying to put this lip behind the other piece of metal. I don't want it next to it. have the ground hooked up to the car.
say. Let me get that clamp back on and we'll refit that uh, wheel skirt. Okay, wheel skirt's back on. You can see how we got a nice, pretty good tight fit. I gotta do a little bit of work around it, but not bad. So basically this side's welded back together for the most part. I gotta go underneath and put some more welds. And I'm gonna drill some holes like I said I was gonna do. Just to keep drainage from going. So it can come out. And then I need to fix that hole tomorrow or maybe Thursday I'll do that. So basically tonight I'm just gonna spray some primer over this, just some real light coat of uh, weld through primer just to keep it from rusting because the car's sitting outside right now. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of that and then uh, Thursday we'll fix that, clean up the rest of this side and then this side will be body worked. And then hopefully we get the other side done too on Thursday and we'll spray primer on these two quarter panels. So that's going to end this video. If everybody, you know, that top weld obviously was there. So I just left that because I didn't want to run the risk of warping above that where it starts to curve any more than it already is. So, all right, guys, that's going to end this video. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Other than that, I will see you guys later.